This is a quick update on Tropical Storm Nadine. We also have a system in the eastern part of the United States that's going to cause a few problems in the mid-Atlantic region. Let's jump to Nadine really quick here. Nadine is still with us, 65 mile per hour winds. This storm is heading uh, just south of due west. It's going to start to turn more towards the north and complete the loop that it's been doing. Uh, this system is going to head off probably just west of the Azores, so the Azores could feel the effects from Nadine. It's going to be a strong tropical storm, so things could really, um, they're not going to be really terrible, but the Azores want to continue to watch this. Uh, in the eastern Pacific, we do have uh, tropical storm Miriam here, but this system is at 40 mile per hour winds. It's in sea surface temperatures that are way too cold, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and they just get colder towards the Mexican coastline here towards the Baja California. Um, this storm is in a weakening trend. That's it for the tropics. Let's take a look at the uh, United States weather. Um, we got some frontal boundaries moving across the midsection of the country here and uh, not too much happening out west here. Fairly dry. Uh, but this system as you can see we have some showers and thunderstorms along it down towards uh, Missouri Kentucky up into Ohio. There's some even some showers breaking out across Pennsylvania. A few embedded thunderstorms, but nothing really severe. We don't really have many severe thunderstorm warnings, maybe two or three at the most across the entire lower 48. Um, but that's about it. We've got a lot of activity down here in Texas, uh, but most of it is heavy rain, actually. There's really no severe thunderstorm watches to speak of. Precipitation models. Uh, let's take a look. I want to show you the NAM really quick because it actually is overdoing the precipitation. If you look over uh, central New York and northeast Pennsylvania, right here, uh, it's actually outputting uh, one and a half to two inches of rain in just a six, area, six hour period of time from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. on uh, Friday tomorrow. So that's just overdone. So I went with the GFS model. The GFS model is showing a much more conservative approach to this system. This system's kind of, it's not going to be an open wave, but it's going to be, it's not completely closed either. So this system's going to ride up along the front. It's not got a lot of moisture, but it's got enough to work with to bring us probably three quarters to one inch across the twin tiers of New York and Pennsylvania. Uh, into southern New England and down towards northern New Jersey, central PA could get upwards of possibly two to three inches of rain. Um, so that system will be out of here for the weekend so we don't have to worry about that. There'll be lingering clouds across the northern states. Um, and here's a map showing the entire precipitation outlook during the next five days. We have of course the quarter to half inch of rain and then the three quarter to one inch stripe across the northeast and then the most rain will occur down here in the southern plains where we have two to three inches of rain from Texas on up into the central just south of the Corn Belt here. A lot of this area does need rain anyway so it's good news. I'm meteorologist Mark Molnar for Meteomark.com like us on Facebook to the right subscribe to us above don't forget to like this video, post a comment or a question if you'd like, and um, don't forget to visit Mediomark.com.